Converting a piece of equipment to operate on a different gas type is something that can be done in the field. Equipment can be converted natural to LP or LP to natural by changing a few components that you can order from your authorized local service company. The conversion kit comes with orifice tips, pilot orifice, self-cleaning burner orifice, gas valve conversion parts, labels, and instructions. In some kits, we also include burners and burner collars. On the inlet side of the gas valve, there will be either a silver or black screw cap. Silver for natural gas and black for LP gas. In this example, we will be converting a gas valve from natural to LP gas. To get started, remove the screw cap, remove the adjustment fitting, and remove the spring. All conversion parts of the gas valve are different from one another. The LP parts include a red spring and black star pattern adjustment screw, natural parts include a silver spring and cross pattern adjustment screw. Install the new spring and adjustment screw. Make any needed adjustments before installing the cap. To replace the multiple orifices inside the equipment, first remove the gas fitting, the pilot bracket, and the bracket for the self-cleaning burner runner tube. At the top of the burner assembly, you must also remove the rollout switch mounting plate. Each burner is held in place with two screws. If your equipment has the self-cleaning burner system, you must remove the burners on the ends first as you will need to slide them off the ends of the self-cleaning burner runner tube. The self-cleaning burner runner tube should now also come loose from the burner assembly once all the burners have been removed. You can now remove the pilot. It is held in place by two screws and a gas line fitting located at the top of the gas valve. You should now have all the burners and burner parts removed, as well as the self-cleaning burner runner tube, pilot, and rollout switch assembly. Unscrew all burner orifice tips and replace with new ones. Next, remove gas line from the pilot assembly and replace the orifice tip. Be careful not to bend or damage the orifice tip and make sure the hole in the orifice is clean and free of debris before installing back onto the pilot assembly. Reinstall the pilot to the burner assembly prior to installing the burners as the pilot hood sits behind the burners when installed properly. After reassembling the burners and the self-cleaning burner runner tube, make sure to replace the self-cleaning burner orifice on the gas line before reinstalling the gas line to the runner tube. Reconnect all brackets and gas lines to both the pilot and the gas valve. At this time, you can now turn the gas supply back onto the unit and check for proper gas pressures on the inlet side of the gas valve. If correct, turn the gas valve on and light the pilot. Check for proper manifold gas pressure and check all fittings for gas leaks. If converting equipment to LP gas, be sure to install the supplied stickers. The red sticker goes on the back of the unit at the gas connection and the yellow sticker is placed on the gas valve. If converting the equipment from LP to natural, it is possible to convert the equipment without removing the burners or the self-cleaning burner runner tube. You will still have to loosen two of the burners in order to remove the pilot and swap the pilot orifice, and you will also have to loosen or remove the gas valve to gain access to the burner orifices on the left side. Once you have access to the burner orifices, place something over the top of the burner venturis prior to removing the orifice tips. This keeps the tips or other debris from accidentally falling into the burners if you drop them. Once the tips are replaced, you can reassemble the pilot and middle burner assemblies, replace the self-cleaning burner runner tube orifice, and reconnect all fittings and brackets. Check for gas pressures and check for gas leaks. Install the proper notification stickers. This concludes this PITCO informational video. If you have any further questions, please contact us at 603 225-6684 or visit us on our website at www.pitco.com.